Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 24th of December, the local media headlines today. Now if you had one of the jewels in Cornwall's wildlife crown in the form of a publicly owned nature reserve set in a 400 year old oak woodland on a tranquil and beautiful riverbank, then why wouldn't you want to drop a large plastic pontoon right in the middle of it? That's a question which has divided opinion in Lou, where a planning application to do just that in the name of encouraging greater use of the river by boat owners has run into contrary opinion from environmentalists. The planners are due to make a decision within the next few weeks. Cornwall reports also looked ahead to Brexit. Yes, if you thought it was all over now, the truth is that it's only just starting. Cornwall's farmers and fishermen are about to find out what it really means. And Cornwall Reports also looked at how Extinction Rebellion is planning to keep the subject of climate change in the headlines in 2020. Pirate FM was among the media to report that a man from St Ives has now been charged with two serious assaults. 37-year-old Clinton Ferreira is accused of attacking two women in separate incidents at Porthminster Beach. He's been remanded in custody until January. Meanwhile, the BBC covered another court case in which a woman from Falmouth has admitted attempted murder. Jessica Stunnell will be sentenced later. The Cornish Times advised that if you haven't posted your Christmas cards yet, you're too late. And finally, Cornwall Live reported last-minute panic buying in the supermarkets. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'm not back again tomorrow or the next day, but I will be the day after that. Until then, have a fabulous Christmas. Bye-bye.